At the crucial moment when Pakistan is facing threats from its so-called ally in the war on terror for not taking actions against Haqqani network and the devastation of the mother nature which has affected over 2 million people across Sindh province, the arrival of Iranian minister Mustafa Najjar with the first consignment of relief goods was warmly welcomed by the federal and Sindh governments here in Pakistan. Iranian government, the president of Iran and Imam Khomeini, they have always been uh, helpful to uh, Pakistan. We have very old uh, brotherly relations with uh, Iran. And uh, last year also, at a crucial time when uh, there were floods, the Iranian government uh, showed uh, this uh, goodwill gesture. The Iranian Interior Minister, in a meeting with his Pakistani counterpart, voiced readiness for extending any assistance aimed at the progress of Pakistan and stressed the need for further bolstering of relations between the two countries. We are so sorry for the damage that has been inflicted on the people of Pakistan. You may remember that last year for the flood and uh, earthquake in Pakistan, we made very large contributions. We sent several trucks uh, of eight several days ago and another cargo, uh, air cargo, uh, weighing 55 tons of uh, blanket, tent and our other food materials have also been sent. Pakistani Premier Yusuf Raza Gilani in a meeting with the Iranian minister wishes to take friendly and fraternal relations with Iran to new heights as there is tremendous goodwill between the people of two countries that share historical, social and cultural ties. Iran has provided $100 million in aid to Pakistan for flood victims. At the time when the simmering tensions between Islamabad and Washington reached to a boiling point, the visit of Iranian minister is very important. Experts here say that it's time for Pakistan to rethink and replace its relations with a dwindling superpower to more equal and brotherly countries. Mohammad Turi, Press TV, Karachi.